Before we get started with today's video, y'all, if you guys are looking to buy a godlike NBA 2K19 account, make sure you guys hit up legit accounts, 100% legit. The link will be in the description. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka HDF, back in the building with yet another banger. In today's video, man, as you can tell by the thumbnail on the title, we got some crazy confirmed NBA 2K20 news. Now, I don't post any lies. I'm not freaking, I'm not going to say any names, but you know, <laughs> I don't post any fake stuff. So this is 100% straight news from people that are getting um, this news straight from uh, 2K20, people that are working on the game NBA 2K20. So anyways... We got some crazy my player, my curve, my park upgrading news. So, in the past two Ks in NBA 2K15, as you can see right here, um, the attribute upgrading system was a lot different. You could choose which upgrades you wanted to upgrade, correct? And the same thing was in 2K16, as you can see right here. You know, you could there was like five different things you could upgrade, right? And you could choose which one you wanted. So a lot of people would upgrade all four and then not upgrade one, right? But the main thing is once you unlocked an upgrade, you could choose which stat you wanted to go up. It was the same thing in 17, but obviously there was more options. But you could still choose what you wanted to go up, as you can see right here. Now, in NBA 2K19, when you unlock that cap breaker, it gives you a set of things. So let's say I hit 95 overall, and it gives me—it's gonna give me like vertical acceleration and speed or something, right? And I, ha I like I have to take that. And let's say me and my friend are both pure stretches. We're gonna unlock the same attribute caps and the same attributes at the same time. So it's almost like it's a whole just system. Um, for every archetype right and it's very consistent so you're getting the same attributes at the same upgrades at the same cap breakers you know what i'm saying and that's a problem for a lot of builds because let's say you know on my playmaking stretch right i don't get 70 i can get up to 70 ball control right and at 70 ball control i unlock pro dribble moves correct but i don't get that 70 overall ball control until 97 overall that's a lot later and then you know in my grind right and let's say i could just choose what i wanted to upgrade i could just max out my ball control immediately and immediately get pro drill moves you know what i'm saying so in nba 2k20 as you can see by this tweet right here by um toxic so shout out to toxic for the tweet man y'all go follow him on twitter link will be in the description um he says in hashtag nba 2k20 the attributes system will be similar to nba 2k17 to where instead of 2k19 the game chooses what you upgrade you can choose what you use uh your attribute upgrades on rather than the game choosing for you you will still have attribute caps depending on your archetype so that's actually crazy so what basically he is saying is they're going back to the 2k 6 17 type of style like i was talking about in the beginning where we can choose what we want to upgrade now we're still going to have caps and stuff where we obviously have to grind out a bar right but when that bar is over we can choose we have options to choose what we want to upgrade correct so this is actual finally some this is actually like the first like news we are getting about 2k 20 um which is actually crazy because we already got the covers, um, the prices, and what we get from pre-ordering and all that stuff. This is the first actual news from NBA 2K20. So if you guys find this, you know, interesting, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be coming out with a lot of NBA 2K20 news. Don't forget to hit this like button if you guys are excited for NBA 2K20 and this new attribute upgrade system. Or actually, it's just basically coming back, I guess. But I, it's gonna be a little adjusted, of course. But um, and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you see every time I upload another banger like this one or other news like this video. And so you see every time I stream, which is every single day, guys. But let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this upgrading system. Do you guys think it's going to be better than it was in past 2Ks? Do you guys think it's going to be very similar? Or do you think you like the 2K19 upgrading system better? Let me know in the comments below. But anyways, guys, it's been your boy Double HDF, and I'm out of here, man. Peace.